Hello guys and welcome back to Electro Fags YouTube channel with myself James Bentley, aka the Bearded Bentley. So yesterday I was with Chris and he did it in two takes because he kept on messing about with the autofocus. Here's what he is. So I'm gonna show you well. I'm gonna get into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the iJoy Wand kit. Wand, wand, there's a lot of speculation as to what people want to call it. I nicknamed it the Wang, just because I wanted it to be different and everyone else gets on telling me it was something else. So I'm going to hop over, we'll do an up close opening and then we'll pop back and you can see my face talking to you about this beautiful little pad. Okay guys, so let's have a look what comes in the box. So on the back gives you a list of everything that you get with it. Although one thing I did notice with this particular packaging from iJoy doesn't dictate the size of the battery. Which, if you're interested in that, is 2600 milliamp hours. That's 2600 milliamp hours in that battery. Uh, another interesting fact is actually a 30 amp drain battery as well, which I didn't know. Uh, that's the assortment of colours, and I just noticed that they do it in purple, and I so wish it would have purple. Purple is my favourite colour, so here we go. As you can tell, guys, I am currently using this kit, so I'll just put everything back in. And so you have your I Joy Diamond Tank, which, FYI, we're rocking the six licks in this one today. And we're on Love Bite. And there is your battery. So this is as simple as the Comfort Starter Kit. So you get your tank, your battery, your spare coil. And underneath, as you can see on this as well, this has got the blue glass on. So this comes with a, another piece of glass. And here's the original piece of glass that the kit does come fitted with, which is double lined, so I don't know whether that's going to get it perfectly there, but there is another small piece of glass in the centre just to make that two millilitres. So there's that. You get your USB charge in these, the same with every kit, and you get your spare O-ring set. So we package all of this coming back in and then we'll get down to the finer details because there wasn't a lot in that box. Right guys, after this video, Chris is going to get a slap <laughs> because after recording all of that, delete, what the hell was that about? Anyway, like I was saying in that first cut, the tank weighs more than the battery does, which a lot of people won't notice. If I hold them up like this, you can see the size difference in both of those. This is a 2600 milliamp hour battery. This is the iJoy Diamond tank. And there is a large difference. Yes, the battery is twice the size of the tank. The tank is twice the weight of the battery. So that does cause for some instability. Especially, let's just get it over there. When you've got it in your hand, you can definitely notice that that tank is a lot heavier than the battery. So, again, I'm going to rip Chris in this part, so, because he did that, I'm just going to turn it on and I'm going to make sure that I just fill time just because I can, and make sure it's not deleted again, you know? So, there is some people out there that call it the wand, the wand, I call it the wang, just to be different, just because I can. It's not called that, by the way, it is the iDrop 1 kit, it is the starter sub own kit. So if you are looking for that starter sub own kit, this is the one for you. But there are a few things to keep your eye on, i.e. tank. This tank gets mightily freaking hot. And I'm not just saying that in the sense of, because I can. Uh, I vaped it at 90 watts on my iDrop Diamond Mini Kit, and I've also vaped it on this, and Jesus does it get hot. Unbelievably hot. I mean, it's still hot now from the first take. See, so it was deleted. I'm just going to keep throwing it out there, but don't feel guilty because I can't. It's easy. And as I said to you in the last video as well, guys, we do things completely natural at Electro Flag. I'm not going to sit here and do 500 takes of it and get 500 different shots of different things and then spend hours blending it into one magical video because that's not us being us. Uh, this is how you see us in the shop, this is how we are all the time. I don't act differently on here than I do in the store. Yes, there are a little bit more profound language in the shop, and there isn't one here because I like to keep it a little bit different and family friendly. However, I will be 100% honest. So the only two things that I've found with this kit that really get on my wiggles is the fact that the tank weighs twice as much as the battery. 
which I don't understand considering the size of the battery and the fact that the tank gets majorly hot. Apart from that, it's one of the best sub-ohm starter kits I could think of recommending to someone. Those, even with those aside, um, a lot of people talk about pod systems for starter kits and other means and stuff like that, but to get into your sub-ohm, I don't think there's a better entry level kit than the Wand, or the Wang, as I call it, just because everyone was arguing over the name, so I just come up with something different because we can. Uh, like I say, at the moment I'm vaping this with six licks lug bite. I can think. No, tell it not like it can. It's by the bullet, it's not a lug bite. Um, and it's just, it's amazing.